four years, we are on a trajectory that leads to the ruin of nations. And we as Republicans are the only party that seems to be able to recognize that. So I'm out on the campaign trail spreading that message, but I want to spread three more messages. Messages about what we can tell people who aren't Republicans about what might make sense and solve this problem. The first message is decentralization. Everybody knows it doesn't make sense to have people 2,000 miles away making every important decision for Oregonians. These people from 2,000 miles away have come in and they've taken over 53% of Oregon and they're letting it get full of bugs and they're letting it get full of deadwood and they're letting it burn to the ground. They've burned down $10 billion worth of our income in the past few years and it's time for people to do something about it. Yeah. We have a slate of Republican candidates this year who have the spine to stand up to the federal government. Because I'll tell you something, power concedes nothing without a struggle. It never has and it never will. And unless we stand up and struggle against the federal government, we're not going to get the power back for Oregon that we need to save Oregon. I'd like to see the county commissioners out here and in every other county start to pass ordinances that say when the trees are filling up with full of dead wood and bugs, that we'll come in and cut it for you if you don't take care of it. And then I'd like to see the county sheriff tell the Forest Service law enforcement officers that if they interfere with those contractors, they will be arrested. And I, as Attorney yeah. General, would be proud to defend the proposition that the state of Oregon has fundamental rights to protect the health and safety of its residents, and it doesn't have to let their houses get burned down, and it doesn't have to let their people choke on the smoke. It can defend Oregon, and we will defend Oregon. Another theme that everybody can agree on is simplification. We've got a government that's too complex. It's like cancer cells multiplying and out of control and forming all these tumors. And these tumors are in the form of laws and regulations. We have way too many laws and regulations. There's no reason that every small business should have to pay people like me hundreds of dollars an hour to figure out what subsection 54 Q5 little C little, C, little 2 little A means. <laughs> We have a station now of citizens here in Oregon and everywhere that's afraid. They're afraid because they know somewhere in these hundreds of thousands of pages of federal regulations and Oregon regulations, they're a criminal somehow. And when you're afraid of the government, you don't have freedom. It's when the government's afraid of us that we have freedom. Everybody knows we need to simplify things, and I will fight to simplify things. I'll tell you a little secret. There's a law in Oregon that says agency rules have to be as simple and clear as possible. No court in Oregon has ever even cited that statute. I would like to make it a centerpiece of the administration and tell these agencies we're not going to enforce stuff that's too complicated for people to read. Yeah! Hallelujah! Last fundamental principle, accountability. How many of you are sick of seeing our brain-dead, reactionary, liberal elite get away with one piece of malfeasance after another? They try and computerize an agency, $100 million down the drain and a bunch of new computers in the basement. They try and design a bridge across the Columbia River. Oops, it's too short. $140 million down the drain, so let's just start again. You're just taxpayers. Bend over and take it. Whoa. Are you happy with that? Yeah, man. Hold on that cowboy. I'm not bending over. You are bending over. Every time you take it from these people, that's what you're doing. And they're doing it over and over again. And no matter what they're doing, whether it's the little boys or the little girls, or stealing their 4% of this or 5% of that, they're never held accountable. I, as Attorney General, will be afraid of no one and afraid to hold no one. No one will be immune from me holding them accountable. And we'll elect Newt Bueller, and he'll go out there and do those audits, and those audits will show us where the problem is. He'll send me the audits. I'll send them up the river.